Hello guys, welcome to this channel and I hope everyone's still in good shape so far and nice to meet you all. And today I'm going to share a tutorial. So this tutorial is based on questions. Alright, uh, a request from our friend. So I challenge myself, I make this tutorial especially for one of our friend Vidi Meta. So I'm sorry if I couldn't pronounce your name well. So the question is how can I add a grainy texture like this in the background right so can we do this one canva yes absolutely there's nothing impossible so far with canva so we can do this one but there's a there's a steps that this step is very simple All right so before i continue i would like to introduce myself my name is Sir saramaha i come from indonesia and i live in bali all right so guys if you are not yet have a Canva pro account you can use this link that i attach on my video descriptions in here so if you are not yet Canva pro users guys you can apply by using this link because i was affiliated with Canva, and uh, if you use this link i will get some tokens but if you are already Canva pro users you don't have to subscribe you just keep watching this tutorial and that's fair enough all right okay so uh, let's go back to the case all right so your question is about the background of this one and here i will give you a clue and the solutions and i hope this tutorial will help you okay so this is the the element that i use on this design how to redesign of your questions about here okay so we need to get this granny background first so where to get this one so we need to get from here photos if you are a Canva pro user so you can get this one easily because here this photo is only available for Canva pro users all right okay so if you are so you just type this grainy here this grainy background Granny background on here on photo okay so you will get this one and after that you can just click and then we go directly uh, here I'm going to let you know how and before I create this one I need to get assistance as well from uh, here lines and shapes square so lines and square uh, this one this square element in here I, this one is colorable so I change the color okay you can change the color as you wish and I choose this color because I just you know this is a modifications from the original one and after that attach okay and get this one grab this uh, photo element here and put on top in here okay let me just erase this one put on top in here and cover yes put on the on the top so now we get two layer and this is the first one and this is the second layer okay and to get this uh, grainy texture like this in here all you're gonna do is this transparency transparency we need to reduce so just hold on your click and direct all the way back okay until the desired appearance okay so here if you think this one give you grainy texture so you can release it and after that you can attach a little bit here a blur a little bit blur okay so that you can get grainy texture right so this is the solutions how to make this one even though if you don't put a blur it doesn't matter okay but if you like to use you can use it okay and this is the things when you are working on the square okay how if a big background so if on the big background all you're gonna do is just change the color okay let me choose the similar color like you have and after that grab this one and uh, apply on the top of it okay and after that replace the background and all you're gonna do is re yes reduce the transparency of this back yeah of this photo and it will give you grainy texture okay and as i 
mentioned before that if you like to use a blur here you can use it anyway okay and it will give you blur here but if you don't like you can just use this one and you can only play on this transparency only guys remember only this one okay so this is the way how to get a grainy texture and I did already so I use your name here I would like to point this tutorial is especially for you and for those who are not yet familiar how to get this uh, grainy texture like like you ask so I hope the one that she requests has arrived and uh, I hope this give you a good solutions on your designs and after this you can do it by yourselves okay thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I hope if um, if you think this tutorial is useful for you guys you can subscribe this channel to support but if you don't like to get any notification from this channel you don't have to subscribe you just keep watching and uh, that's fair enough thank you guys and uh, see you again to the next tutorial when I have time <laughs> Ha ha ha!